Hi, my name is Wart Becker and welcome to another Grafana video. In the previous video, we've taken a quick look at the new Grafana Logs panel and Logs annotations. These are two major features of the recent Grafana 6.4 release. With this new release, you're now able to visually correlate between your metrics and your logs from a single interface. In today's video, we'll dig a bit deeper in the new correlations features. First, we'll take advantage of template variables to filter both metrics and logs on our dashboard. Second, we'll use Loki as a metrics data source and visualize metrics from our logs data. And third, we'll use Jump to Explore to do some additional slicing and dicing on our logs. Template variables make our dashboard interactive and dynamic. In this example, we can select the metrics and logs of a single web application. To make this work, we have a variable setup that queries the Prometheus data source for all values of the service label. Loki, our logs data source in this example, shares the same labels as Prometheus. This allows us to reuse the same variable in Prometheus and Loki queries for visual correlation. Next, Loki as a metrics data source. In our example, we use Loki as our logs data source. Loki is a log aggregation system which is inspired by Prometheus. So much so that it also has a Prometheus compatible query API. This enables us to use Loki as a metrics data source. In our example, we have a panel that shows a histogram visualization based on a PromQL query. Yep, that's right, we can use PromQL against our Loki metrics data source. Last cool new feature for today is the explore shortcut from the dashboard. Try it out by hovering over any panel and press the X key. This allows us to jump to the new explorer view from any panel with the same time range and variable selection. We can now do further slicing and dicing for additional troubleshooting and data exploration. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.